what is going on YouTube I am Baku Sky here with another video and in today's video guys we are going to be going over what I'm going to be doing for my fire team on the morning of the uh, Destiny 2 30th anniversary uh, dungeon with Galahorn being uh, one of the prize prizes <clears throat> I should say so essentially like I can go over like a couple of builds but basically I'm going to be playing the support character Right, and you guys will see that uh, when I start showing you the specific mods that I will be using. So on my helmet, I have supercharged. That is a big one because with supercharged, it'll give me my charge with light faster, uh, and it stacks up to five as well. Um, I have radiant light on so that I can help my my fire team when I pop my well of radiance, uh, or super in general. I mean. The, the only thing that changes on my sets are going to be my exotics, right? Because I don't know, we don't know what's going to happen. But I have several sets that are ready on the go, ready for whatever we have to face and whatever I can do to help. But for the most part, I will be running Radiant Life for the entirety of the run. Just to make sure that when I do pop my super, my teammates will get their charge with light. Now on my chest piece, obviously Phoenix Protocol if I'm running the well. Uh... I will be running charged up. That will also help and aid in me getting charged with light faster. Now on my boots, my I have void boots, and I will be running uh, fusion scavenger with protective light. Obviously, if you know what protective light does, you'll know why I'm running it. If you don't know, well, here it is. I'll leave it up for you for a second. Essentially, I am just protected. Um, so every time that I take damage, the charge with light is consumed, uh, essentially like protecting me, right? Um, and then of course on my bond, I, I pretty much just have taking charge. Um, I can, pr depending really, so yeah, I could take this off and then if I wanted to, I could take this off as well. Go particle deconstruction. Now, one of the biggest things that you guys are going to be curious about is what weapons am I going to use, right? So I have a couple of choices. Wither Horde is always a good option. I, I always have at least one person on my team running Wither Horde at all times because it is such good ad control. Uh, another option we have, we have sniper options. Izanagi is, is always a good option. It does a lot of damage, especially within the Well of Radiance. Of course, I have my Succession. This is my favorite sniper rifle to use. Um, I have Lead from Gold and Vorpal on it. Now, Blind NGLs are kind of uh, a toss-up. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. Um, but it is always good to have them. Uh, as well as uh, I have my last breath auto rifle with demolitionist and osmosis uh, Osmosis if the, for those that don't know uh, If I throw my grenade with my weapon out whatever my grenade does is What my weapon will do so if I have an arc nade throw the arc nade my weapon then becomes arc same with void solar now when it comes to my secondary right there's a couple options that I can go with, right? I could choose an SMG, I could choose an AR. I always go with my 7 Seraph. If you can't tell, I have 15,000 kills on it because I am a Warmind fanatic. Now, although I am not wearing Warmind cells on this particular build right now, if it comes to the point to where Warmind cells will fit the build and will help the team overall, then I'll be down for it. Uh, the other options we have here, so if we're running the AR, Say if my team needs me to run Ariana's Vow, boom, I can run Ariana's. I have Divinity. I can be the Divinity user. Um, Lorenz Driver, always a good option. Vex Mythical Class, mm, uh, in PvE, perfect for this. Perfect, perfect. Laminarc, always a good choice. Always a good choice. Now, if there's not Overload or Champions, then obviously like bows are going to be a little bit underused. I don't think that many people will use them as much which is okay but hey if you fit your fire team it fits your fire team that's perfectly fine now heavy this is where it gets kind of juicy because there's a couple heavy heavy options that i i want to use or i think that would be good for this now um so with anarchy anarchy is really nerfed do not use this on the boss because i promise you you will be sad you will cry just not good um 1000 voices Always a good option, solid. 1,000 voices, sleeper simulant, thread and needle, perfect options, fantastic options actually. Even uh, a reads regret with Vorpal, I even have another reads regret with um, 
firing line, which reminds me, if you have a sniper rifle or a anything with firing line, it does so much damage. Oh my god, the amount of damage it does is crazy, right? So you're going to want to use that. Obviously, I have my two swords with me. Because again, you never know. In Prophecy, you use swords for one of them bosses. Now, the, the one that I'm excited about, Whisper of the Worm got buffed. At least I think it did, or it's getting buffed on Tuesday. Either way, I want to try it. That is, uh, that is what I have. So, guys, if you liked the video, if you enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.